in an exciting way, it kind of explains what my goal in life is right now. This word clean, how, how to keep the Hill District clean. Literally, it means picking up litter off the street. You know, it has a deeper meaning too. Okay, my name is Reggie. I live in the Hill District, an area called the Hill District. The Hill District is uh, historically is, is an area of Pittsburgh that is probably uh, was the original cultural center of Pittsburgh. Well, I was a basketball player. I grew up in the YMCA. I, I, you know, basketball, it saved me, you know, being so involved in basketball and wanting to become uh, the best basketball player I could be. I dreamed basketball, I ate basketball, I slept basketball. I wanted to become a professional basketball player. So a lot of the guys that I knew were going around stealing cars and and uh, getting into all kind of trouble. But I was on a basketball court. I was practicing, practicing, practicing. So the basketball kept me away from a lot of negativity, a lot of foolishness. You know? Yeah. My name is Kent Bay, U.S. military veteran, Hill District resident. I'm the chief executive volunteer steward here at the uh, Peace and Friendship Farm, which is. Uh, operated by the Project Love Coalition. We are an um, organization with initiative that advocates on behalf of veterans and their families in the areas of housing, workforce development, and community building. I have not always lived in the Hill District in my time growing up in um, Homewood. It was a very beautiful community, very nice. And uh, I would spend <clears throat> a lot of my time with the elders, mostly my grandmother, uh, plant there. Uh, peppers and their collard greens and their tomatoes and then the big treat would be when the tomatoes would ripen and then my grandmother would go out and pick one and to me that was the best tasted tomato I've ever tasted in my life I, I've never since had such a delicious tomato experience uh, after my grandmother and maybe it was just me maybe it was just me being a baby and just Anything that grandma had, it was just always better. I don't know, but I just en enjoyed those moments. My name is Darla Copeland, and my relationship with Grounded is a steward, and I live in the Hill District. Um, we're originally from the North Side. I liked it there. It was nice growing up on the North Side. They had a lot of programs like there is in the Hill District. They have Ammons, they have the Hill House, they got the Wesley um, Center, uh, Grace Center. They got a lot there. Yes, they do. The YMCA that I grew up in, it got restored. It got uh, improved and a whole new face got put on it and it, it's still there. There's a brand new YMCA about four or five blocks from there. More often than not, every morning you'll find me in the YMCA on the third floor on the track. I do three to five miles almost every morning. Yeah, but I'm a power walker now. I was a runner. I was a, I was a marathon runner. And I use cleaning up as part of my exercise regimen. So I'm on these vacant lands many times picking up litter because I used to see houses there. They were, so to me, they're more than just vacant property. You know, it's, to many people, they're just a, a, a trash can, some place to throw candy wrappers and you know, smashed up beer cans and soda pop. It breaks my heart to, you know, because I saw the land getting vacant. I saw the, the riots of 1968 when Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated. That's when the vacant lands really, really, really became uh, aggressively uh, vacant. People don't even realize they, those riots brought soldiers with bayonets in the streets. This was part of why the Hill District became so rampant with vacant lots. You know, it's, it's like a acne, uh, severe acne on, you know, it's, it's actually an, an infliction, it's an assault on the, on the land, you know. In our community in the Hill District, I see a lot of not taking pride in the look of the community. 
I do a lot of delivery and moving around and I go in different communities and I don't see all that trash in other communities. So when I was asked, I was like, yeah, and we need it bad. So I was really excited to be on the forefront because a lot of people know me from my restaurant. And if they see me wanting to keep the community clean and looking nice, you know, maybe they'll stop throwing the trash on the ground. It's all about respect. I want the people who live there to respect the area. Subsequently, I want people outside of the Hill District to respect the area. So traditionally, we know that a lot of people of African descent mourners have been suffering economically and socially. So we've been lacking in, in certain opportunities and resources that directly impact us. Um, it's very deliberate. And traditionally, we just have not been able to uh, be a part of this whole corporate economic plan. And we've been disadvantaged because of it. So what can one person do? I'm trying to be a MVP. I'm trying to be a most valuable player in stewardship of the earth. So that's one reason why I'm so razzed, I'm so excited about um, restoring the uh, and, 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 and uh, restoring the dignity and the sophistication of uh, of the Hill District. So grounded elevates people who try to steward be good stewards of the earth and cleaning it up. And so I'm proud to be uh, affiliated in some way with someone who claims to care about the earth as I do. The formation of the Project Love Coalition spun off into us caring for lots to us approaching the city and saying, hey, we want to be part of your adopt a lot program and make it official. And that's what we did. That process was uh, assisted by uh, grounded strategies. Uh, we were able to get some insight in, on the process and how that goes to what we have here today. So um, here at the Peace and Friendship Farm, we um, not only take care of this lot as uh, with the uh, adopt a lot process in, in play, but we grow healthy fruits, vegetables, flowers here. Um, it's just a farm, but it's an urban farm. Uh, the Hill District is definitely, um, it's a place that's growing and changing into a positive living. And Grounded is a part that's helping it change. Because if we look and keep our community clean, then we'll love where we live. If your community looks beautiful, you'll feel beautiful about it and participate more in it. I wanna shine my light. I want to have a light to shine. I, I see the future as bright and beautiful. If everyone lit just one little candle, what a bright world this would be. So I'm, I'm, I'm lighting just one little candle. Each time I pick something up, I'm lighting a candle, you know. We are all different. And we learn from each other by being in that area together. If everyone came in and did their part, we'd be all in it together and helping each other. Amen.